Welcome everyone to Louisville, Kentucky, and we may be in the bluegrass state, but blue is the color to avoid if you love the homestanding Louisville Cardinals. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets taking on the 20th ranked team in the land, the Louisville Cardinals. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Cardinals will kick it away first. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they'll try to feed the football to no matter what the coverage looks like, Jesse. He's their best player on offense, and I like the way this coaching staff moves him around and tries to create good matchups to take advantage of, David. And that makes it so hard to defend. When the receiver lines up in the same spot every time, I can bring extra coverage. Man, use this guy all over the field as a weapon of mass destruction. Got three on first down at second and seven. On the ground, it's Haynes. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Third down, and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. Dropping back, it's King. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any time in between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. And the Yellow Jackets line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Fair catch was called for, but there is a flag on the play, and we'll have to sort it out. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Quarterback on the keeper. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Go with the option, quarterback keeps it himself, and look, we've seen this guy on tape, guys, break these tackles and take it the distance. This offense should keep dialing up these option plays. Don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your play. Now the play fake. He makes the connection. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Complete. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. The Yellow Jackets will line it up on first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Coming up. Quick completion to the right. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. So difficult, because my eyes tell me as a defensive guy, he's handing it off. The offensive line's block and run. I got to go get it. Quarterback pulls it, throws it to the right. It's kind of like that hidden hat game. Like, where's the ball? I'm try always trying to find that daggone thing. Pulls and fires complete. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there of it. 
The run from the shotgun. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but they'll have to convert third and long to keep it going. Back to pass, it's Kane. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. They were counting on making a few yards after the catch on third down. Instead, they're staring at four. Yeah, and I think a lot of times you trust your guy. You, you throw it to him and you say, I can make somebody miss or lower my shoulder and get to the sticks. The defense had none of that. Nice job tackling. Nice job forcing the fourth down. Between the uprights, it's good. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Cardinals' offense taking the field for a chance. We have to see them today. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. They'll try to bully their way for the first. At the 40, there he goes. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And third and one, you know they're running the football. It's just a matter of who's getting it and where they're going. But this offense, it really didn't matter. Nice job up front. Nice execution. Picking up not only the one, making it an even bigger play and getting the first down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They're testing the right side here. The Cardinals get enough for the first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one play. And the Cardinals had this offense rolling. Wide out in motion. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back. It's Shuck. Makes the grab on the left. They get him down after he makes a catch. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. 
They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. Got him downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Yeah, and obviously great play by the offense to keep the drive alive and also a good find by the quarterback on third down. The Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. They go to the ground. He's all the way down to the three. He showed it all on that run. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. And the Cardinals are threatening on first and goal. Here's the snap, looking to throw. It's on target and complete. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinal. You know what? Methuselah lived 969 years. He was born and died in the amount of time it took them to walk it down the field and score that touchdown. <laughs> and that's just so frustrating. Play after play after play, you line up, you try to do your assignment, and you fail, and they cap it off with a touchdown? Oh, Methuselah. Lining up to add another. Is on for the extra point. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. An 84-yard drive there. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. Makes the quick grab. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Defense, man, it helps you a lot. You could be a linebacker, corner, safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break up the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. That three-yard pickup gets it out to the 28. It's second and seven. The give to the tailback. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And the Yellow Jackets will call on their punt team. Looking for a block. It's Lacey. Found a little running room on that one. Picked up some nice blocks before he's run out of bounds. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Hand off to the single back. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air, it's shot. Quickly out to the tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Louisville has the edge. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. It's a first and 10 from the 42-yard line. 
They're looking for an advantage to the right. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Give to the running back. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The Cardinals are rolling down the field. Going up top on first down. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. This is going to be a key that we look at this entire game. How can this defense find ways to affect this quarterback and get pressure on him? Because they felt coming into the game, if they could do that, they could affect him and influence this passing game. They run the reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. What great discipline showed by the defense. When your job's contained, you're supposed to contain the football, not let your eyes deceive you. Ball starts to go away. Your job is to still contain the backside. Great job, staying disciplined. Great win for the defense. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Took a shot as he threw. And it's a little bit of a cat and mouse game there. Nice job by the defense dialing up the perfect coverage, taking all the downfield throws away on third and long in the red zone. So nice job by the QB. You got to throw that one away. You just got to eat it. Now you have an opportunity still at a field goal. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. This will be a 50-yard field goal attempt, and he'll have to curl it in from the right side. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. They didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He leaves it with the back. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Looking for a man. It's King. Working that left side now. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. He'll try the left side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that deep tackle is cat quick. He exploded out of his three-point stance, got immediately into the backfield, and was able to get that tackle for loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Off the play fake. Fires to the wide out. And it will be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. to 
this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Steps away. Trying to make magic with his feet. They finally make the stop, and he shows why he is dangerous on the run, too, and he's got a first down. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? Just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it, get the first down, don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and 10. Grabbed behind the line, it's Lane. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. They'll give it to the back. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. The Yellow Jackets will have it first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a man. Got enough space, and he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. He didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick. Defense. 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 So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's got it again. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Back to throw, it's shot. Looking to the big tight end. Complete downfield. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Man, you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fella, you put him in the slot, try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. It'll be a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. A lot of times those draw plays are successful when those defensive linemen run up the field, rush the quarterback, create some holes. 
Not this time. The defensive line did a really good job understanding that, seeing the draw play, getting the running back, getting his butt on the ground. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. From the gun, running back gets the gift. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And the Cardinals will put this one away. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last, and the pass hits, picked off. He'll try to take it back. Touchdown, Cardinals! What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And he takes this from inside the five. This guy is so dangerous. The excellent vision to find a lane and get it out and set up the offense with good field position. Now they'll run it to the right here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive line in there trying to block him, get him in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Using the spin move. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And the running backs are going to add to the passing game. They can be so dangerous because once they get the catch, they're operating in much more open space than they would be on a handoff. And it really also tests the linebackers' coverage ability and those DBs tackling them. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. He had a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. And the Yellow Jackets with the first and ten. Looking down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Looking downfield, it's King. Boney just dropped it so close to his second interception of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Are we sure that he knows what color jersey his receivers are wearing? Threw a pick on the last drive and almost threw another one. Just, just temporarily confused. No big deal. Hey, short memory. Quarterback's got to have those short memories, right? It's behind me. No harm done. Reset. Next play. He's got him this time. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. 
You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. He's going to pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Well, that's one the offense would love to have back. That's a play they practice over and over and over. They feel like they can run that play in their sleep, not able to connect there. They'll line up for a second down play. The aerial assault continues. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. There's something you don't see very often. A sack on a screen pass. You know, quarterbacks are taught to hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball, and then get rid of it right before the rush gets to you. But that time, I think he just held on to it a little too long. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. They did right there. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. Looking to throw, it's King. He's got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. On to attempt the try. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. 75 yards on the touchdown drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Lacey. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Quickly to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. That pass is incomplete. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. Looking to throw for it. That's caught. It's Bell. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Well, not down in distance. The quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him. So a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. Finds his man. It's Bell. The offense will quickly use a timeout. For an offense, slant routes against man coverage are really a rhythm throw. You take your steps, you get the ball out, it's got to be in a good location. Quarterback and receiver on the same page there. Wants to throw on first down. Snares it outside, it's Lacey. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. 
Receivers work tirelessly, tapping that toe along the sideline, and it just looks so natural for him. Yeah, it can't just be pat and go all the time, right? Reese just jogging down the field, ball hits you right in stride. you got to be able to make awkward body catches and do it getting your feet in bounds. That was sweet. Quickly complete. The yeah, offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. I love the type of throw there by the quarterback, throwing to his running back on that angle route. That cannot be a bullet throw. He just puts enough air on it, makes it an easy catch for his running back on the move. Running back makes the grab, and he's able to advance. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking downfield, it's Shuck. He finds his man, and he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And it's third down, but they're taking no chances. They'll send the field goal unit out before halftime. And he'll need a little distance and accuracy, a 42-yarder from the left hash. Good, right down the boulevard. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Louisville for a fun first half than you? And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Ellen and Federal Credit Union Stadium. The Yellow Jackets will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Going for the big play. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. After the misfire, it's second and ten. Looking for a man, it's shot. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Give to the single back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Second down. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Give to the running back. 
They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. The Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. And listen, as a quarterback, you're trying to find the matchup, trying to find who's open. I don't know if anybody was open, but that was not a greatly thrown football. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds, and that just on to the next down. Offense gets set for second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. They'll run the screen. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. I tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Looking to throw at Chuck. A short throw to the sideline, but it is long enough for a first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And the Cardinals have it with a first and ten. Going to the running game. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, wants to throw it. Got his man out of the backfield. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. Now on first down from the 28. They'll leave it with him. Finds just enough room to pick up a couple down to the 26. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Just feeds the running back. Finally stopped at the 20-yard line after a pickup of six. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Here's the handoff. Works his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Been showing them the run. Now they'll throw it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And 
makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Lining up to tack Lincoln one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they closed the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone, and he's knocked down at the 10. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Leaves it with the back. Finds a little bit of space. He'll get three out to the 15. This offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Wants to throw, it's King. It's complete to the right. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. He's tackled at the 28 yard line, and that's good enough for a first down. And the Yellow Jackets are in the hurry up. On the ground, it's Haynes. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. It's a draw. Still running at the 40. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. Oh, what a great play call. Sneaking the draw. The defense clearly thinking pass, flying up the field. No, sir. A little handoff, a little sneak attack. Great play call. The Yellow Jackets are flying down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Pulls it in. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up play, nose for the first down marker. Get in there and get it. And the Yellow Jackets come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. This defense has to know that QB zone read is a big part of how they're going to be attacked. These linebackers, they've got to switch and get into position to replace these crashing defensive ends because this is a quarterback that can get up the field quickly like he did on that last play. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Throws to the wide out. Got a man in the middle. Makes the grab defense right there, and they are set up at the 14. 
And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. Going to the run, it's Haynes. Not much working there, it'll be second and nine. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, running back on the move. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Kane. Let's it go to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And this is the hardest part of the field to execute a third ball. Everybody drops back now, and they're just covering the red zone area. So little space to cover. But the good news is, now fourth and long, it makes the decision easy. Kick the field goal. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. It is perfect. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And they try to run inside and there is nowhere to go. At some point, enough is enough. This is the guy that's beating me. He's priority number one. We gotta go get him. It's getting later in the second half. I gotta go out and make some plays and get my offense the ball back. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They go to the draw. They bring him down, and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. You need to put more plays together like that right there. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Fires to the middle. Got his man. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And a really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. The Cardinals have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Find his tight end. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. 
A little too much on that one just out of his reach. I love the decision by the quarterback. He found the open man, just don't love the throw. Got to be a little bit more accurate, make it easier on your target. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Back to the air one more time. Fires to the big fella. He's got That's first down good. yardage as they move it to the 44. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And the Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. To the air on first down. Gets it out quickly. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. I'll tell you, when you've got a tight end like this, it makes it a lot easier calling pass plays on first down, even if the defense is in zone coverage. He did a really good job there working his leverage, finding the soft spot, and making it an easy completion. Wide receiver shows motion. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense was prepared, and I'm really impressed by the eye discipline right now. That's not easy to do. It's not easy to locate that receiver coming across in motion with good timing and getting the jet sweep, but they were ready for that play. Eighth play of the drive, and to keep this one going, they'll need to convert a third and five. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Setting up the screen. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. They got a little bit, um, but they didn't get the first down. And you're obviously trying to get the first down, but you try to slip in those screens occasionally on third down. I like when you slip them in there to try to make a big play, catch the defense maybe being a little aggressive. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Oh, he missed it. No good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Power football with the run. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. On second down, just keeps firing. And they can't make the connection. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. To the air, it's King. Fires to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Off the play fake on first down to throw. The sweet feet by a little time. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. And a big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action, understand his pass, beats the guard, gets to the quarterback, and gets the QB on the ground. A 
first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Gives it to the back on the draw. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. A strike downfield. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. That route is a man beater, and the quarterback knew exactly where to go with it. He got the look he wanted, put it out in front of the receiver, let him do the rest, yards after the catch, setting up first and goal and they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. They'll run it on first and goal. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck, no holes in it. And the D deny them on second and goal. They'll run it to the left, looking for the end zone. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. And they take it in for six more points. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and he got into the house from the sixth to finish it. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. He'll bring it back from inside his five, and they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. They'll try to put a drive together, starting from their own 12. to throw. Shoots it to the left. Incomplete and they tried to catch him flat footed on first down but the defense was ready. Second and ten after the previous play. Scanning the field. It's shot. Makes his connection. And makes the tackle at the 23 after he got 10. The defense needs to have a plan for this guy. They weren't ready for that one. Drag route running all the way across the field. And the DB just can't stay with them because of his speed. And as a result, they give up a big one. From their own 23, it'll be first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Quick strike complete. Sweet feet on the move. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of them. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. And that was a nice second down run. It's setting up third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Go to that play that you know is your short yardage play. He's looking to throw on third and short. Snagged in the middle. It's Lacey. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. 
They'll throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Slant routes. They're good against man coverage, but they're good against zone coverage, too. If that receiver can find the soft spot between the linebacker and the DB, you'll take that throw all day. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. They'll try the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a negative play. The clock stopped. Two minutes left to play in this one. They need to get a little closer for a field goal try, and they've got to do it in a hurry. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Catch in the middle. It's Lacey. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Looking to go up top on first down. It's complete. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Cardinals getting set on first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The defense calls the timeout their second of the day as they try to get their act together. They're trying to run the football. And there's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And these are the big decisions you have to make in a football game. How confident are you in your defense? That's all this decision comes down to. If I kick a field goal and I trust my defense, that's how this game could end. Or do I want to roll the dice because I don't believe in my defense? And it's right down the boulevard. They take the lead just over a minute to go. And now, guys, the challenge, try to stay on top. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He'll bring it out. It's Haynes. And the returner is stopped. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. Comes out throwing on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. To the air, it's King. Fires left. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. A nice job between those two. To the line quickly. They'll spike it to save some time. It leads to second down.
He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. On second down, they'll take to the air. Catch in the middle, it's Singleton. I think in this situation, two minutes, trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Going to try to get it himself. They bring him down, but not before he gets just enough to move the chains. Man, these are these are killers, right? Late in the game, in the fourth quarter, you're getting to the quarterback, but he does such a great job scrambling around. When you do this, you, you get extra first downs. You start to wear those defensive linemen out. So late in the game, this could pay off. Great job getting the first down. 